so guys welcome back to the channel so guess who inspired my tutorial so the amazing vicky james so i saw her video my fib and it was looking really gorgeous so i decided to recreate it and then also film it for the channel so i made a few changes especially to the sleeve and then i also made my length a little bit longer so guys read me did i pull it off was i able to actually recreate her style so let me know what you think in the comment section so guys if you're stopping by for the first time thank you so much for stopping by my name is lilian please click the subscribe button let's get into it so for fabric i have about four years here though i didn't exhaust it though so i have four years in total so first thing first you are going to come down by a few inches from your pattern so just mark out about two inches down as guideline so what you are going to do your pattern paper you are going to divide it into two so just as you can see me do fold your tape and then mark the midpoint so we are doing this to actually share our pattern into two equal half so go ahead and do that so you can see what i'm doing mark it to the end and then go ahead and then create a line so this is us like i said dividing this pattern into two equal half so the next thing we are going to do is to mark our neckline so whatever you are doing you are starting from that midline that we have there so i'm going to be using four inches as my neck width and then for the neck depth i'm going to also use two inches so mark two inches also as your neck depth and then we are going to repeat the same thing on the other side so also go ahead and then mark four inches so after doing that you're going to go ahead now and then create your neckline just like as you can see me to connect to this side and then connect also to the other side like so so guys the next measurement we are going to impute is our shoulder measurement divided by two so guys please note that this middle line is what we are going to be using as our guideline so whatever you are doing is going to start from there so my shoulder measurement divided by two is seven so i'm going to mark my seven inches to this side and then i'll mark the same thing on the other side okay so you are marking it on both sides so what i'm going to do next is to come down by my chest line so my chest measurement is eight inches just as you can see me too so i'm coming down by eight inches so whatever yours is also do the same and then create your own chest line so i'm just going to label it out so this is it then the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the same seven inches on my chest line so my shoulder measurement i'm also repeating the same thing on my chest line so i'm going to connect in that straight back to my shoulder line to actually create a straight line so after doing that i'm going to come down by one and a half inch as my shoulder slope so guys this one and a half inch is not the most so i'm actually coming down by one and a half inch because my chest line is supposed to be seven and a half inch but i'm using it because i usually use one and a half inch as my as my shoulder slope so that's the reason i usually use one and a half inch so if you don't add a half inch please use one inch okay so i'm going to mark the same thing to the other side and then i'm going to go ahead and create my shoulder slant so just as you can see me do so the next thing we are going to do is to find the midpoint of our armhole so what you are going to do is to fold your tape into two just as you can see now and then mark so after marking you are going to go in by half inch or 0 0.5 so you are going to do the same thing to the other side also find the midpoint and then also go in by half inch so after going in by half inch you are going to connect it straight back to your shoulder slant so i'm just going to do that very well and then i'll do the same thing to this other side so after doing that the next thing we are going to do is to divide our rambo circumference by four mine is 36 36 divided by four is nine so i'm going to mark it here and then go over to the other side and then also mark so after doing that i'm going to go ahead now and then create my armhole by connecting from that point to the 0 0.5 inch that will came out with on the other midpoint just as you can see me do now so the next thing we are going to do is to come down from our shoulder to our half length or waistline so whatever you call it mine is 16 so i'm going to mark 16 inches just as you can see me to go ahead and then mark yours so after doing that i'm going to take my ruler and then create my waistline or half length so whatever you call it so i'm going to label now the next thing we are going to do is to impute our round waist circumference so my round waist circumference is 28 28 divided by 4 is seven inches but for this particular pattern i will be imputing six and a half inch so why i want to impute six and a half inches is because i want to actually cinch the waistline so my fabric is actually a bit stretchy so whatever i take off 
is going to like fit is going to sit well so taking off half inch from our waistline automatically means we are going to be taking out two inches in total so if you think you'll be comfortable taking off two inches from your waistline you can as well do the same but if you know you are using a fabric that is not stretchy please don't even try it because it won't fit you won't be able to like fit it so hope that makes sense so for that reason now i'm going to be marking six and a half inches so please if you are working with a fabric that is not stretchy just go ahead and mark your normal round waist circumference so hope this makes sense so just as you can see me do now i'm going to mark six and a half inch here and then to, to, to the other side i'm also going to mark six and a half inch so automatically i already took off two inches from my waistline so i'm going to connect it straight to my chest line and then i'm going to do the same thing to the other side so the next thing we are going to do is to mark our hip line so i'm going to come down by nine inches please this is actually not the standard so you can whatever you use as your waist to hip line mark it okay but i usually use nine inches so i'm going to create my hip line then i'm going to label it out so the next thing we are going to do now is to divide our hip circumference by four so we are going to divide our hip circumference by four so i'm using 40 i'm going to mark 10 here 40 divided by four and then i'm going to mark 10 here after marking you are going to go ahead now and then connect it to your waistline so just as you can see me do connect to your waistline and then connect the other side also to your waistline so after doing that the next thing we are going to do is to mark our full length so for this particular pattern i'll be making use of 21 inches my hemming allowance included so you can actually take yours to your knee line so whatever you want is what you are going to do so i'm going to create my full length so this is it i'm just going to label it out it's just like we take our round knee circumference so wherever length you are using whatever length you're using you are going to take the round circumference of that place so my 21 inches length the round circumference of that point is 30 inches so 30 divided by 4 is seven and a half inch so you are going to do the same if you are using to your knee line use your round knee circumference divide it so i'm going to be marking seven and a half inch on both sides now because 30 divided by 4 is seven and a half so this is it i'm going to connect it back to my hip line like so and then i'll do the same thing on the other side guys so this is it so the next thing we are going to do now is to go up by two and a half inch from our chest line so i'm going to mark it and then i'm going to take my curve ruler so i'll connect to the other side of my shoulder so you can see what i'm doing the other side of my neckline i just connect it from here to that point so this is it okay so guys we are almost done with this so we are going to be adding allowance so we are going to add half inches to that point just as you can see me do add your half inches allowance and then to the other side of the armhole we are also going to add half inches allowance and then to the side you are going to go ahead and then add one inches allowance so guys so this is it so just add one inch to this side after adding i'm going to use my ruler to create to connect the whole lines together the whole dot i marked there so i'm going to do the same thing to this side you are also going to add half inches on the shoulder line and then on the armhole you are going to add half inches so do the same just as you can see so after doing that come over to the side also you are going to also add one inches as your sewing allowance when you are done take your ruler just connect the whole dots together just as you can see me do so guys so this is it for this so what we are going to do now is to cut out so just go ahead take your paper scissors and then carefully cut out so just watch how i'm cutting out do it to do the same you can see what i'm doing how i'm actually cutting it out so that is how you are also going to cut out so this is it so we are going to set it aside so what we are going to do we are going to cut out on our fabric so you don't need to add any allowance so just go ahead and then cut out straight remember everything that we need is on the pattern already so we are just going to go ahead and then cut out so do the same cut out just as you can see me do so guys after cutting out the next thing we are going to do is to take off our pattern paper from our front piece so just remove your pin and then take off your pattern paper so we are going to take off the main piece don't forget to mark the wrong side of your main piece and then set it aside so we are going to bring in your front pattern so we are not going to drop the part back pattern we are using the front as the back so just slit it open in between just as you can see me too so after you open it you are going to bring in another fresh pattern paper so we are going to add it to the center 
of this pattern because that is going to be our center back now so just as you can see me to tape another pattern paper on the center back it's actually the front but i'm pulling the center back now because we are actually going to turn it to back pattern so just go ahead and then tape your piece your new fresh pattern paper on it just cut out very small you can see what i'm doing so do it to do the same just cut out and then add it so we are going to also add it to the other side so the other pattern we are doing the same thing to both so also go ahead and then add to the other side of the pattern we are going to set the other pattern aside and then we are going to start with this other pattern so on your waistline you are going to go in by half inch so this is actually to avoid bulging so go in by half inch and then you are going to take it to your chest line like so okay and then you are going to also take it down to your hip line so you can see how i'm placing my curve ruler do the same so after doing that we are going to add one one inches as our zipper allowance so i'm just going to turn that into the bag so that it won't be confusing for us so just mark your zipper allowance on the center back now so i'm going to cut off the ss pattern that i won't be needing so guys when you are done bring in the other pattern so also go in on the waistline by half inch so connect it also to your chest line and then also bring it down to your hip line okay so it's the same thing add one inch also as your zipper allowance so it's the same thing we did with the, on the other side so after you connect just cut out the excesses also that you won't be needing just as you can see me too so just cut it off like this so we are going to bring both together and then we are going to align it on the back neckline so you can see what i'm doing just connect it from the other side to this side okay i'm going to use ruler to blend it well so you can see what i'm doing do the same and then add half inches also as your allowance then the excess that you have at the top there use your scissors and then just cut it off so you can see what i'm doing make sure they are aligning so we are going to cut that on our fabric it's at this point you need to pay attention and then listen carefully so first of all you are going to bring this in so this is the back now this is the side that have our off shoulder so this is the right side of my crib so i'm going to place my pattern the right side of my pattern will be facing the right side of my fabric so hope you can hear me very well the right side of my pattern facing the right side of my fabric so if we are going to join now you can see it remember we are going to join it right side facing the right side so this is my front piece so you can actually see that it's actually aligning with the up shoulder since my fabric is on the right side so this is how i'm going to join okay so the right side of your pattern should be facing the right side of your fabric so i'm going to set it aside now and then i'm going to cut out so just go ahead and then cut out you don't need to do anything or add any allowance because we already have everything on our pattern so i'm just going to cut out just as you can see me too so this is it guys so this is it so we are going to cut out the other piece so don't forget to mark your wrong side you can see just mark your wrong side so that you know your wrong side so we are going to do the same thing with this piece so it's still going to be in the right side of your crepe or whatever fabric you are using facing the right side of your pattern so you can see it this is my front piece so it's also aligning so i'm going to cut out so just carefully cut out you don't need to add anything just make sure the right side of your fabric is facing the right side of your pattern so guys so this is it so don't forget you're also going to mark the wrong side so i already did that so we are also going to cut out our sleeves so i already draft out my normal basic sleeve so for my sleeve i'm just going to cut out so i'm also facing my sleeve right side of my sleeve facing the right side of my pattern so that it will align with whatever i'm doing so i'm going to go ahead now and cut out so you can actually choose to use whatever sleeve you want style of sleeve you want. so take off the sleeve and bring back the just the pattern so we are going to use it to cut our off shoulder so you are going to bring the off shoulder part of it so you can see what i'm doing so bring it in so you can see how i set it so also place it on your 
paper like that so we are going to measure the round circumference of that point so remember we added half inch to the top which is our for hemming and then we added one inch as our sewing allowance and then we went up by two and a half inch so everything in total now is four inches so you can see how i place my my uh, measuring tape so place yours like that as long as you have four inches there so all you need to do is to mark okay so you can see what i'm doing so just mark so just measure four inches and then mark once you have your four inches mark so this is it now so i'm just going to i'm going to go ahead now and then roll this out so this is it so i'm just going to put it back and then see to be very sure so i'm going to fold this into two because it's the same thing we are going to mark on the other side so i'm going to pin it down so after pinning down i'm just going to cut off okay so you can see just watch carefully i'm just going to cut off so i don't need to do any other thing so i'm just going to cut out from that point so if you find this difficult you can actually cut your or shoulder sleeve however you are used to so it's totally fine so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut this out also on my fabric so i'll just go ahead and then cut out so you don't need to add any allowance so my main pattern is already having all the necessary allowance that i need so I'm just going to go ahead now and then cut out if you find this method difficult you can actually do whatever you are used to so this is it for the whole piece so now we are going to join this is it this is the right side so bring the side piece and then i'm going to just take off my pattern so we are going to place it right side facing the right side so i'm going to place it right side facing the right side so you can see oh, this is the wrong side so this is the wrong side of the side so i'm going to just place it like this right side facing the right side you can see the mark actually marked on the wrong side so this other side i'm going to do the same thing so you can see that everything is aligning now so i'm just going to go ahead and then pin it around guys so this is it so what you're going to do go over to your machine you're going to join on the shoulder by half inch and then by the side join by one inch so we are going to come over to the other side we are going to also join by one inch so i'll do that and bring it back so this is it i am done joining so just like i started so this is it so this is the inside so i join by one inch and then to the other side join by one inch just as you can see so what we are going to do now the center back at the top we are going to take off half inch so i don't know if you have actually made this dress you will notice that there's a way the center back at the top they usually like kind of like being excess at times so that is why we are taking off half inch see what i'm doing so just take off half inch bring it down like that so watch how i'm going to cut it out so i just took off half inch and then i'm going to do the same thing to the other side so we are doing that to the center back so that everything will be firm around our neckline so you can see what i'm doing i'm trying to just straighten it up like that and then do the same thing here do it to straighten it up so you can see what i'm doing so make sure you take over that half inch so that it will be one inch that we actually remove from there so after doing that now we are going to go over to our machine also and then we are going to hem the neckline by half inch so hem around the neckline by half inch and then to this other side leave out the armhole just the back you are going to just hem the neckline so guys so this is it so i already hand my neckline just as you can see so i did the same thing with the back so you can see it so my armhole is out of it so go ahead and fix your zipper so guys so this is it so i already fixed my zipper so just as you can see so this is it for my zipper now so the next thing we are going to do now is to fix our sleeve this is it for my sleeve so i already hem by half inch and then by the side I joined by one inch so this is it. so what we are going to do now we are going to align it with the side of your dress so right side facing the right side so make sure the side seam of the sleeve is aligning with the side seam of your dress so go ahead and pin down then you are going to take it to the end point there pin it down then take it to the other side of the front and then pin down 
so you are going to join by half inch so hope this makes sense so this is it as you can see so we are going to do the same thing to the other side so already also joined by one inch at the side so what we are going to do we are also going to do the same thing so align it also right side facing the right side and then make sure the side seam are both aligned so this is how i fix my sleeve so you can actually fix yours however you are used to is actually okay the most important thing is you fixing your sleeve that is just it i'm going to fold into two and then i'm going to notch my midpoint so as you can see then i'm going to take it to the shoulder the notch point i took it to the shoulder line and then i'm going to go ahead now and pin down so i'm just going to pin down my whole armhole so as you can see i'm just going to pin everything around so i'm bringing it in you can see how i'm pinning it so just going to carefully align it and then pin down so to way to do the same like i said you can also fix yours however you know how to fix okay so it's just normal so long as you fix your sleeve so this is it i'm just going to align it very well and then pin down so remember like i said you can fix yours however you know how to fix if Adventure, this type is a bit complicated for you so i don't know how you fix yours so do it to do whatever you know how to do so we are going to join by half inch and then to the other side also join by half inch so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys this is it i'm just joining my sleeve so we are going to set it aside so bring in another piece so we are going to be marking 10 inches as our width for this particular piece so the length i don't really have any length so you are just going to mark 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 until you have what will be enough to pleat around your shoulder and then around your knee line or your full length so i'm just going to cut out this so, is just for guideline so make sure it's 10 inches width so you are going to cut out as many as possible that would be enough to go around your neckline and then your full length so i'm just going to measure this length not like it was actually enough so I'll go ahead and cut out another piece and then add stick to it so guys so this is it so i already um added my stay so this is this type of stay i actually use so this stay is actually not as stiff as a uh, gum stay so i don't know what it, this particular one is called but you can see me actually squeezing it is not as hard as the other type of stay so this one is paper stay you can as well use paper stay you can as well use this one so it will depend on the texture or fabric you are working with so you need to be very careful because the more stiff your stay is the more hard it will be for you to actually so remember we are actually pleating this and then the thickness is actually much so that is why you need to be careful whatever you are doing so that you can be able to actually sew it after pleating so what we are going to do we are going to go ahead now and then join by half inch okay so join by half inch you can see what i'm doing so this is it I already joined by half inch and then i turn out and then iron out so this is what we'll be having so we are going to be measuring the midpoint so just like we are sharing it into two so this is the right side you can see it just screw her head make sure whatever you have and then fold your tape into two just as you can see me too and then mark so we are going to repeat the same thing to the end of the strap so you can see what i'm doing so we are going to repeat the same thing So guys so this is it so we are going to do the same thing to the wrong side so also flip it over so to be very sure that is accurate we are going to repeat the same thing okay so just fold and then mark fold and mark so we are repeating the same thing to this side of it
Oh guys, so this is it. Okay, so I'm just trying to straighten that point up. So this is it. So what we are going to do, we are going to pleat. So just pleat in a few inches. You can see I really did not mark that one. So just pleat in like this and then pin down. So for the next one, we are going to go ahead now and then we are going to measure. Okay, so mark at least two inches or one and a half. Mark one and a half instead. And then we are going to pleat to the other side. So we are doing crease splitting and then we are pleating from the wrong side. Okay, we are pleating from the wrong side. So this is it. You can see what it looks like on the other side. So I'm going to pin this very well. Make sure that they are not overlapping each other. So I'm going to pin it very well. And then this is it. This is what it looks like on the right side. So we are going to do the same thing now. So what we are going to do also going to mark two inches you can see what i'm doing mark two inches like so and then mark another one inch like so and then we are going to also pleat so we are going to also pleat so like i said it's key splitting so i'm going to pin down so i'm going to just pin down so after pinning down i'm going to mark another one and a half inch just as you can see so mark another one and a half inch and then we are going to pleat also so make sure they are not overlapping just like i said so it's key splitting we are doing and then don't forget we are pleating from the wrong side so that we can have the effects at the right side so you can see it so also make sure they are not overlapping at the back there so this is it so i'm going to correct that because it wasn't really sitting well if you see it so I'm going to clean off that one inch. So instead of that one inch, measure two inch, just as you can see, and then measure one and a half inch instead, instead of that one inch, because it wasn't sitting well. So don't be confused. Measure two inch, just as you can see, and then measure another one and a half inch. So that is clear. So we are going to pleat the two inches now to the one and a half inch. Okay, so as you can see, it's actually better. It meets the other one at the front. So just make sure they are not overlapping. You can see it's actually sitting better than it was before. So I'm going to go ahead now and then pin down. Okay, so I'm always checking. Please do wait to do the same. You can see what I'm doing to make sure that it's sitting well at the back. So from this point, you're going to mark one and a half inch. Okay, from that point mark one and a half inch I actually marked two inches before so i'm correcting it so just mark one and a half place your finger there and then pleat okay remember we are actually pleating from the wrong side so just go ahead and then please so when you're done go ahead and then pin it down so you can see it's always check at the back to make sure they are not overlapping so guys however you know how to pleat so this is just how i have achieved my look so what we are going to do from where the other one stop we are going to mark two inches or so okay so mark two inches from where the other one stop and then mark one and a half inch or so and then go ahead and then place to that one and a half inch so hope this is clear so i'm also going to check at the back to make sure they are not overlapping and then i'm going to paint down so you can see what i'm doing just just carefully pleat and paint down so after doing that i'm going to mark one and a half inch so i'm going to mark one and a half inch like so and then i'm going to pleat pleat my finger there and then pleat okay so you guys can see you can actually pleat yours however you want to so this is just how i achieved my own look so i'm going to go ahead now and pin down so after pinning down i'm going to check to see how it's looking on the right side so after doing that i'm going to repeat the same thing so where this one stop i'm going to mark two inches you can see it's where it stopped there just mark two inches from that point so you can see it so after marking two inches mark another one and a half inch like so and then I'm just going to cross check it one and a half inch and then i'm going to go ahead now and then also pleat so you can see what i'm doing so do where to do the same thing so when you are done we are going to check the back to make sure it's sitting properly make sure they are meeting okay make sure they are meeting at the back so you are going to go ahead now and paint down so turn it and then mark another one and a half inch so after marking one and a half inch, you're going to pleat it also, just as you can see me too. So make sure they are aligning and then paint down. 
so just carefully paint down so however you know how to pleat please go ahead and do that so long you achieve the same result so i'm from that point i'm going to mark one and a half inch now so i'm correcting that line to make sure it's straight so after doing that i'm going to also please place my finger there and then pleats okay the most important thing is it's meeting at this point so just make sure it's meeting so i'm going to do that very well because it wasn't really sitting well on the right side so i'm going to go ahead now and then paint down so like i said before you can actually pleat yours however you know how to so this was just how i achieved my look so that's why i'm showing us this so what we are going to do next, we are going to repeat the same thing. So we had this one stop, I already mark it with my chalk. So from that point, I'm going to mark two inches or so. Then I'm going to pleat, okay? So just make sure it's meeting at the back. That is the most important thing. So just make sure that they are meeting at the back. You can see at the front, sorry, this side is actually the right side because that's the side we are going to be adding to the right side. So... We are going to go ahead and then pin down so you are going to continue repeating the same thing until you have enough to go around your neckline and then your full length okay so if you pleat and then maybe your strap you exhaust your strap so just join from where you stop and then make sure the seam allowance you use in joining you pleat it in so that it won't be showing on the right side so this is it now so you can see what is given on the right side so bring in your piece so bring in your piece i'm going to show us how we are going to join this so remember we actually mark chalk line on our midpoint so for the back when you are joining it to the back so just sew along that a uh, midpoint like make sure is up to at least two inches down and then just so so you can see how i'm placing it so that is how you are also going to do it so you're going to join it around your neckline so when you come towards your front so at the front you are going to join very close to the edge the front is going to be very close to the edge then when you get to the back go down also so for the hemline you are also going to go up by at least two inches and then sew on your chalk line okay round so guys so this is it for my finished look just like i instructed those at the down and went up by two inches and then i hem by half inch so just as you can see so this is it so this is how you are going to join then so at our chalk line so at the top you can see it just like i instructed those so very close to the edge for the back neckline just like i instructed those i also marked down two inches and then i maintained the two inches depth so hope this makes sense so if you have any question please feel free to ask thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye bye